Kuila Ridge is already really muddy, but when it's raining like this, it's not really like the best hike days. We'll figure it out. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get in there. It's gonna be good. Maybe Saturday. Saturday, we're gonna get the leaf, and then maybe we can do like a daytime hike. It'll be really nice. I love the rain here. The carport has like a metal roof, and it makes like the best little clickety clack sounds. The rain. Like therapeutic you guys I have upgraded my morning look with these lashes oh. got a straggler don't worry I fixed her oh my Lance requested a coffee guess what I'm doing oh yeah laundry I had three facials yesterday which means at least three sets of sheets and three blankets because I put like a nice fuzzy blanket over top. I was doing six towel facials yesterday, so that's 18 washcloths, probably at least six white towels you know, over the head, headbands, sponges. It's usually at least two loads of laundry. I do whites for the bleach and then colors. Folded it. Oh my gosh. Last night, I went through the whole spot and Wiley even helped me. I organized everything, every drawer, every cube, down to my lash box. And I got rid of like old lashes. I like cleaned and made like a gorgeous palette. Actually, it was Carly who inspired me. When she came to do my lashes, her box was pristine. And I was like, I'm disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, my claws always clean and disinfected, but like, the insides, like behind the scenes, it was messy. You know when you're younger and you ask, and your mom asks you to clean your room and you clean it but you shove everything in the closet, like it looks good, but really if you like look behind the curtain, it's like sketch. <laughs> that was like my spa. So now when you open the literal curtain and not the metaphorical curtain, it's like super organized. Down to the last BB grease sample and cotton swab, it is organized. And I think that that calls for maybe a little spa tour. I mean, I don't know how to do like YouTube tours. I tried to do a nursery tour and it was like sketch and like basic. But I can like show you what's in all my storage containers and like talk about my spa. I got mostly everything from Amazon so you can literally get anything on Amazon. I don't need to like link it. You can find it. If you want to know the exact one I have, I'll tell you. I'll find it. But like... You can find it on Amazon. And if you've been watching my vloggers, you probably know my house. It's literally like this big. But I could give you like a little walk around of my house, even though it's kind of a shit show. I make Americanos, so we do double shot of espressos and then I put hot water in it. There's like a little hot water thing in the espresso machine. We also have this that has filtered instant hot water. There is a filter on the espresso machine, but for some reason I just like to use that better for the hot water. Hmm. This is why Leia is, but I need to take a sip because it was too full. Are you going to be able to handle this coffee in there or you want it out here? Uh, Do you want this coffee out here? Yeah, I'll come out. Okay. Mm, just put that there. He's giving the baby her bottle in bed. He likes to take any cuddle moments with her when he can. It also gives me extra time to vlog and have my morning. Have your alone time that you wish so much for. Oh gosh. Yeah, because you stress me out. Tell your fans you want alone time. Yeah, you're a full time job, honey. Good morning, Elia. <laughs> you didn't drink enough milk. Daddy's not following through with your bottle, honey. She got to drink most of that. How'd you sleep, sweetheart? 
Honey, how'd you sleep? Why are you ignoring me? This is why we're not doing a Q&A. Because he does this. It's silent. <sighs> He's protesting Vlogmas. Oh, there's the yawn. There we go. Hi, honey. Are you still gonna ignore me? <laughs> honey. Don't do that. You don't do this. Distracting the baby. I'm pretty sure that she's drinking her bottle now that I'm here. You couldn't even get her to drink it. Oh, we gotta cut her nails. It looks super long. Oh, good. That you can put on your to-do list today. Good job, my girl. You pal? No. I want more, mommy. Are you snuggling with daddy? That's really nice. Honey, it's raining. Cool. He loves rainy days. Ever since quarantine, we're just like all in a habit of staying inside and like away from everyone. I mean, obviously not as much me because I'm doing spa stuff, like people are coming here. It's been such a weird year. Like I was pregnant and then near the end, I didn't want to go anywhere or do anything because I was pregnant and like... <laughs> when I was pregnant, eight months, nine months, I didn't want to do anything. I was like, I'm gross lock me away, hide me from the world. And then I had the baby, and before she was even a month old, we were in lockdown. So it's like, nothing's open, where are you gonna go? They encourage you to stay at home. And then they kind of open things back up and we're like, maybe. And then you're just like, become a homebody and you're used to it. And then you have your routine where you're at home and you're used to it, and then it's like, a hike? What? Why would we? And now it's Christmas time, and I mean, it's warm here all year round, but this is a little more rain. And now that Wiley is working, it's like, okay, well, we're figuring it out. It's not like before we had a kid and we were just like running around the island, eating and going wherever we wanted. But Ellie is funner. Funner's not a word. I don't care. Get it, girl. <laughs> hun, hun. I'm growing a little little beard there, honey. Can I have this, Celia? Pow. Thank you. Is Daddy pinning you down? Submit, Elia. It'll be over a lot faster. This is how I've learned. <laughs> I'm finally feeling more awake. I went to bed again at midnight last night. Probably later then. Took me a minute to fall asleep. I actually probably should make an observation due to the wine for that. And I had a really crazy dream. I was like in Las Vegas at like an old family apartment, which is like not something that's a thing. And it was like full of clothes that I was going through because we were going to dinner and it was like a dress code, but it was like sketch like Walmart clothes, like my wardrobe here. I was like trying things on and it was just a mess. Laura, what does that mean? If I still remember it tomorrow, I'll ask her. Actually yesterday I fell asleep and that, like, I had like a lull in my day. One of my appointments canceled and before my last appointment at four I had a break and Waylay and I both fell asleep on the couch while Elia was napping. And I had this weird dream that I was like in this like office cubicle thing and we had all of these like hard drive towers like physical hard drives and it was like evidence for like a case and like some mysterious person was like messaging me and was like i need access to those hard drives it's, like, it's evidence no one can have it but i am leaving the room for five minutes it was so weird i've been having the most bizarre dreams like just really outlandish outlander okay getting it mm -hmm. have you guys seen outlander Show's so good. I should watch that series over again. It's like a rainy day thing. I'm hungry. Honey, I'm hungry! Will you make me something? I like it when he makes me breakfast. Do you want daddy to make me breakfast? Good morning, man. Sweetheart. Can you show everyone how you can sit? Down. Good boy. Speak. Good boy. Alia, just submit. Let it happen. Good morning, 
Wiley I tries to get everyone in this house to cuddle with him and everyone resists. He thinks all the resistance is my genetics. Even Ben resists snuggles. Ellie is like stiff and like, ah! She just has so much energy. It's not that she doesn't want to snuggle. I'm sure when she's like a little bit older, she'll want to snuggle, but right now she's just like, she'll just like thrust herself and be like, ah! Like, just let me explore. I'm awake, it's time for me to do my acrobatics. <laughs> I'm coming, honey. Is daddy making you cuddle against your wishes? Oh, it's my girl. Yeah. Good morning. Mommy better move all this stuff. Daddy, come get your coffee before Elia takes it. Wow. <laughs> you take some steps? Come here. You got it. Oh. We're still getting our bearings this morning. That's all right. Honey, I'm really hungry. You're making me starve. Please? I'm hungry. Will you make me breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm really hungry. Errands. I actually have to go to the bank, and Wiley and I have American Savings Bank, and they used to have a branch in the grocery store on the east side, but the grocery store closed down. There's only one American Savings Bank now on the whole island, and it's in Louis, like past Costco. Oh, so it's like a whole thing when you want to go to the bank, but I'm going. And Elia is chilling in the back, and then we're gonna make a Costco trip. I might even get some half and half for my coffee. Because you know what I realized is that I'm being a little bit of a coward when it comes to reintroducing things to my diet and I wanna start adding more stuff. We were just really limited because I was being so strict. I'm just gonna get other vegetables because I've literally been eating zucchini and broccoli for a long time. And I have a salad every five minutes. And I just wanna like switch it up so just to see if I can get just a couple different things to incorporate. It's still like a rainy day. This guy looks like doo-doo, but that's okay. Really, I that sushi machine will be gone until like 10 o'clock. It's just me and the girl girl. You know what? I put that Facebook up. That fa I put that Facebook group up last night. There's already like 60 members. You guys, I'm so excited to do the cleanse and I'm so excited you wanna join the Facebook group. If you haven't joined yet, get on the Facebook group. I'm also posting about and like it's like some interactive stuff and it's just like good questions that you should be asking yourself like questions about your health and and your lifestyle that like maybe you don't realize are issues that you just ignore because it's just become the new norm like achy body or headaches or whatever and see if we can remedy some of that stuff during this cleanse i'm really excited about that I'm just so excited um my birthday's on Friday, duh. If you don't know already, then clearly this is the first video you've watched. But I'm getting my tattoos, and a couple of you guessed it right. Right here, I'm getting my three OP heat, like magnet little sucky shellfish, stick to rocks. It's like represents Elia, Wailea, and Ben, because they're all my little leeches. We're also getting two dates. So our wedding anniversary, it's the coolest number, 91919, and then Elia's birthday, which is 22020. So we have like two dates that are obviously really significant and important to us, but they also happen to be really cool numbers. So we're both gonna get both of those dates written on us, and I think I'm gonna do, yeah my girl, yeah! I don't know the font yet, and I actually don't know where I want to put them. Do you guys have any suggestions of where I should put them? I have a few tattoos and they're all small and like dainty. I'm putting the OP here. I have an elephant here. I thought maybe like on the inside of my bicep on the other side or like on my shoulder. Wailea wants to do it like right here, like one on each arm. But I was like, what if we have another kid? Where are you gonna put that third date? You can't just get her birthday and not get their birthday. And it's like, you don't have a third arm. So like, I thought maybe like listing it on my wrist, but like on my left side, I'm struggling. It's because it's, yeah girl. It's the 16th, I only have 
about 48 hours to decide. It's kind of forever, so any input would be really helpful. I could possibly be into doing it like right here. That would be fun. Shoot me some ideas. Could you like my ankle, right ankle on the bottom? We're almost to Lahui and I gotta go to the bank and I'm gonna actually do the drive through teller because I like don't wanna take Ellie out of her car seat. It's okay, my girl. We're almost there. Hey, are we going to the Costco? Go, girl. Hi. How are those keys tasting? Ready? for us. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Every time I come here, I feel like everything's like out and it looks like they just got a shipment in. Everything's like fully stocked. <sighs> Love this. This never happens. I'm always like shit out of luck with everything. Okay, so I really want my dad's help picking a good bottle of red wine because we've been trying red wine the last couple nights, but they're like probably 13 to 20 dollar bottles and why Leia isn't having stomach issues but every time we go visit my parents my dad always has really good red wine my dad calls it chocolate milk and why Leia is convinced that the only wine that doesn't make him sick is this chocolate milk and it's not a certain like brand it's just a type and it's usually like a full-bodied cabernet but Usually the bottles are between 40 and $50. So I just want to get a really nice bottle of wine. So my dad said, if I FaceTime him when I get into the wine section, then he'll help me. So I'm going to FaceTime him right now. So I'm making some asparagus. It's like the new vegetable that I got and they sound really good right now. So I preheated the oven to 400. Drizzle, olive oil, salt and pepper, just easy. They'll probably be in there like five minutes. I'm doing a five minute timer, gonna check them. I like them all Dante. I don't like them like squishy and gross. I like them like still a little bit like crunch. Anyway, I'm gonna, finished putting the groceries away right there i brought all the groceries in from the car i forgot a box like a ding dong i got all the way out to the parking lot so just like laid it all out in the trunk so i gotta put it all away and then these should be done and i'm gonna eat them i think i'm also gonna make a coffee because i'm going over to my girlfriend janelle's house and i need a boost this is the bottle of wine i ended up going with my dad gave me a couple different options but this is actually the only one that he knew for sure that they had at our Costco. It was $63. It's just the only $56 on the mainland. It's cheaper, but it's a bottle of chocolate milk. And I already texted Waylay and told him that I got a bottle of chocolate milk and he's so excited. I was like, hurry up and get home from work already so we can drink it. Like, why am I even waiting? My asparagus. If you have eyelash extensions, then you know that you're not supposed to be near heat 
which means the heat from the oven. So if you open the oven, open it and walk away. Do not let that heat hit you. It'll singe your lashes and you'll look like a freak. They look pretty good, but I'm gonna put it on broil and let them get brown. I think five minutes is good enough. Okay, I'm gonna make my coffee. Ooh, I forgot too, I got the half and half, so I'm totally gonna put it in my coffee. And try a little dairy variation. Hold that for me. So it took me so long to switch to black coffee. I love my coffee, like just like a blonde bitch. So I know this is gonna be probably the most decadent tasting thing. Wow, it's like heaven. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the warmness, it's like going all the way down through my body. Mm. Oh my gosh, I better check my asparagus. Gorgeous. Just let this cool off while I obsess over my coffee more. literally the best thing in the whole wide world wow i mean i really got used to the black coffee but i mean this is an elimination diet i gotta figure out if dairy is okay for me this is science and all part of the project i feel really good about it we'll see how i feel about it tomorrow see how much i weigh woof Elia is just about up from her nap and I'm gonna bring like a meal for her to Janelle's and I used all things that I had already prepped. In a couple of vlogs ago, Wailea made linguine clams, which is a family recipe. I got some of that. I have my baked chicken cut into small pieces and then I cut some of this asparagus up for her. So here is this little meal I'm bringing for her. So when and if she gets hungry, I have like a balanced thing here for her as like a backup. I'm also gonna bring a bottle and like really that's it. I'm just gonna let her chill. But yeah, food prep, if you've got a kid or a baby, like it can honestly be a godsend. Like the fact that I had that chicken already ready to go. Thank you, Thank you me. We are back from Janelle's house and actually I put Elia down already. The night crept up on me. I, just, I didn't realize that it was so late. Oopsies. But right now I'm cooking dinner and earlier I thawed out some ground beef and Wiley I made a mixture for me and it has garlic, onion, salt and pepper in it. So I'm just getting that all ready for my dinner. I'm probably gonna have more salad. Maybe I'll make some more asparagus. I don't know. I already ate some and I'm not like crazy hungry, but I'm feeling like I want some protein. Um, and then I want to hop into the spa and give you guys a tour. And I'm so excited to show you everything. I was going to show you more of the house, but it's kind of late and I really can't show you the yard. So I'll show you that on another day. You guys know me. I'm not like going to make it fancy. I'm just going to show you the shit that I have in the bins and just like where it is and like Oh, I'm fully integrated, by the way. Happy to be back. Still waiting for Wiley to get off work so we can open up the good bottle. This is the rest of the one from last night. When we were at Janelle's house, their neighbors on the property line, they have cows. And there was a huge cow and like came up to Elliot and was licking her foot. Janelle recorded a video of me holding Elia and the cow like all up on Elia. And she was kind of digging it. It was so cute. I'm going to put the video in. Funny. Wow, hi. Okay, 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 honey. I've never, like, I know cows are weird, but I've never had a cow lick me before. He even licked my hand. It's so funny. Cows are big. 
And like I know they're like chill, but scary even behind the barbed wire. Mm. Mm. Holy yum. I'm hungry. That's so good. Mm. Mm. Focus on me. Oh, it literally looks so good. Okay, you guys have seen my spa so many times, but it's had a few changes and it's evolved over time. I'm gonna give you an in-depth breakdown of what I got going on in here, where I keep everything. So you future Estes, if you're gonna set up a studio, kind of an idea of all the different things that you might need, things that you may not have thought of, and the different services that I offer. So let's start. I'm gonna start with these paintings. Every client asks about these paintings. They ask me if I painted them. No, I did not. These paintings were painted by an artist named Olivia Dougherty. She's based in Florida. I originally saw her artwork displayed in Restoration Hardware Modern. I commissioned her to make these. I chose the size, I chose the colors. Actually a triptych, which means it's three pieces and my mom has the third piece. I brought these from Los Angeles. I love these, I don't think I'll ever get rid of them and I love that they fit in this space. I definitely chose the theme and colors of my spa based on these paintings and I feel like they just like fill the room up so well. I really love them and they're really beautiful. As far as like my art taste, I really like abstract stuff and I love glitter. So for me, this is literally my wet dream. It was actually made for me. So this is, they're the perfect paintings for me and I love them. Um, but no, I didn't paint them. Liv Doherty, she's amazing. Here is my little macrame plant hanger. I saw a girl's ad on Kawhi Buy and Sell selling macrame things and I messaged her and we did a trade and I gave her a lash lift and a tint and she traded me the plant hangers. I actually have two more, I haven't hung them yet, but I got these in a trade and she made them. And then this pot on the inside here, I got from Home Depot. And then that's just like bamboo. Okay, moving on. These are my three glass shelves. I got these from Home Depot. They're just glass floating shelves. You can choose like the size of the shelf and the brackets you want yourself. My landlord hung them for me. I really like that they're glass and see-through. They're, they get dusty, but they're really pretty. On the shelf, I have the diffuser, which is from Amazon. I have this awesome Bose speaker with Bluetooth. And actually, our landlord works, does like maintenance or some sort of like engineering job at a hotel. I don't know which one, but they were refurbishing and they gave all those away and he gave this to us from a hotel that was just like literally gonna throw it away, so. This was like a major come up. And these are, this is a shell actually that I found at Polahale. I found it in the water, I was snorkeling and I dove for it, so cool. And then this is a heart-shaped rock wailea I found and glued two opihi to it. This is actually similar to what my tattoo is gonna be if you wanted to see, those are opihi. And then here I just have my little mosaic vase that's from Pier 1. I have this like little glass candle holder. I don't remember where I got that one, but at like a decor store, like maybe Home Goods. And I definitely told you guys before that I'm a rep for Rodan and Fields. I do not push selling Rodan and Fields. If someone asks me for skincare and they want a regimen, I will refer them to what I think works for them because I use it. But I don't hardcore like force people to sign up for skincare. But when I did sign up, I bought all of the regimens, so I just kept the boxes. And I just displayed them up here to make them look nice. And I think it looks cute. 
my little vase down here. These are glittery twigs that I got at Ross. This vase, I think, from maybe TJ Maxx or Ross, one of those kinds of stores. I actually brought this from Los Angeles with me. I've had it for a long time. And then this trash can is from Walmart. Little step stool trash can works for me. It's perfect when I'm doing waxing right here. It's easy to just like throw the strips away in there. So we love that. Okay. And then on this same wall, I have this cubed storage shelf. On the top, I have my menu of services and I framed it, which I think looks super cute. A gray scented candle from Walmart. And then this is my waxing system. It's called Clean and Easy. They are roller heads, which is a super fast application. If you're wondering in the different colors, this one's just a regular beeswax, and this is for sensitive skin. So I just have two kinds, whoever needs what. The large are for the legs, medium is for bikini, and these small ones are for the brow. There's this bigger head that I use for like the middle or the top of the brows or even the lip. There's this fine one I use for shaping brows underneath for sure. And that's definitely more detail oriented. I love this. This is what I used where I trained as an apprentice and I will keep using it. I have wax pods. I have soft wax and hard wax, but I love this. I can do speed waxing with it. I can use the other pots, but I prefer this. It is literally super clean and easy. It's like it follows its name. I'm just really happy with it. I see no reason to change or to not use it. So. And then in the back here, there's the refills of the large, the medium, and then my scissors. Scissors are for cutting muslin. Muslin are obviously the strips that you use for waxing. Always keep a pair of scissors in here. So looking at this first cube shelf, actually right there is my Tupperware full of muslin. Cut muslin. These are for Brazilians. These long ones are for legs. I actually keep lancets in here as well, which are completely sterile hollow needles that I can use to get out ingrown hairs. And then I keep paper towel here too for my waxes. In this cube, I have alcohol, which I spray my waxing area first with this to disinfect. We add baby powder. And I have my gloves. I've got two boxes here. It is wax remover. And that's what I clean these with. I clean off the wax with this and then I also disinfect it. In this cube right here, here's Roll of muslin, extra roll, wax remover, lotion, extra wax cartridges, and these are all my extra roller heads. Sticks for the larger wax. All your waxing needs in one cube. In the bottom center cube, it's like kind of a miscellaneous cube, but it has miniature garbage bags. This is garbage bags too. More, uh, more oil to fill up wax remover, even more wax, and then Windex for the mirrors. And then this cube is the little bit of nail stuff that I have, nail files, nail polish, all my nail tools, and then I have all these um, beautiful oils from Egypt. And this bag has all my oils for my diffuser. So I use essential oils for my diffuser and also my facial towels. So that's this whole shelf breakdown. Getting to know it. So we did those cubes and those blank cubes I fill with those these extra blankets to put on top and then that cubby is for people's personal stuff. Like so when you come if you got your phone in your wall you can put it in there. I also on the back of the door have a hook, so if you have a purse, you can hang it there. Hope you're not bored, this is my livelihood. Actually, you know what? Last night I had Waylea help me organize stuff. He, until he was sitting and watching me, like how I have all my areas and all my tools, he was like, this is like your spot. I didn't really think about it before, but he's like, but this is like your workshop. I was like, yeah. Thanks for noticing. And it is, it's, I take a lot of pride in my area and all my things. I have to keep everything stocked. It's hard work. Like don't underestimate and I'm telling you, being an esthetician is not for the faint of heart. You need a strong back, a strong mind to listen to everyone's bullshit. And you need to have an eye, it's art. We'll write off like hairdressers or estheticians. Like we work so hard. There's so much science involved in what we do in this whole business side. It's a lot of work, so. Can I get a shout out for all the hairdressers and all the Estes out there that work harder than people really give them credit for? Because cheers to my cosmetologists.
Okay, my massage bed, I literally bought this on Amazon. It's so comfortable. I buy white fitted sheet and then white flat sheet and I make the bed like a little twin bed. This is a throw blanket from Ross. And then I have another white towel on top from Walmart. It had been for a facial. This is the setup for a facial. If I'm waxing, it's folded up like this and then I put a bed sheet over it so that it stays like clean. It doesn't get like wax on my table. I hate table paper. I don't like crinkly. Even as a client, I don't like it when it rips. It makes me feel like a fat cow. I use disposable bed sheets, which is what doctors use. It's like soft, non-woven, perforated, six foot long bed sheets. Every client I've ever had is so pleased to not sit on crinkly paper. I take pride in the fact that I have that. It is expensive, but to me, so worth it. It makes people feel happy and glamorous and comfortable and I like that. Underneath the fitted sheet, I actually have another soft blanket. That is a, a twin size soft blanket that I either got from Ross or I got from Costco. But it just adds um, a layer on top of the massage bed and it keeps it even softer and I like that. I always put a sheet over it. Sometimes I put two fitted sheets. So I really never take that soft blanket off. It's always kind of a protective barrier over the massage table, which is like this tan color, really buttery. It breaks down, it folds in half. When I used to convert this into an office, I would like break it down and store it into the closet so that I could have a desk in here. But now I just keep it like this full time. And then my stool, I love my stool. This was like about $90. It's this very like contoured stool when you like Sit on it. It helps me keep my posture It has these wheels that are kind of like a skateboard or a scooter and they don't leave dents in the floor Which is kind of a big deal when you're dealing with hardwood. So I'm really all about that. It spins It rolls. I used to have a carpet in here, but I couldn't roll as much and when I'm over here doing services, I'm here for my facials, and then if someone wants to do waxing, I can kind of roll over here, get my wax, get my alcohol, get my strips. You know, I just have it all kind of conveniently close so I can do multiple services. So that actually leads me to this whole shelf. This is where most of my tools are. This is the newest addition to my room, actually. It's my towel warmer. It's a little over a hundred bucks. It just changed my life. Never underestimate the power of a hot towel because wow, hot towels are amazing. <laughs> that will heat them up to 180 degrees, which is perfect. It's a little bit hot and I always like air them out before I put them on someone's face. Even Wailea like lives for these towels at the end of the day. This on the top here, I just have flowers that Wailea made me and then a nice candle, but these paper towels, these are actually very specific. Do you see how they have that perforated line down the middle to make squares? These are either brawny or they're bounty, but for extractions, I need that rectangle and then I rip them in half. This has literally saved me so much time and so much grief because I need squares for my extractions. These ones are perforated and they're perfect for extractions. So it's crucial that I keep these perforated ones over here. My busiest shelf here, I've got all my lash tweezers, all my regular tweezers for brows, Brazilians, scissors for trimming, eyebrow gel, eye drops if eyes get sensitive, and then my brow pencils. Hand sanitizer, my lash glue, this is my Goo Gone to get off debris for my lash pads, eyebrow pencil sharpener, and the remote for the bows. I like to keep lots of tweezers so that if I get really busy, I always have tweezers, but I have specific tweezers that are my favorite. So after every appointment, I always make sure that I disinfect them. When you are disinfecting tweezers and sterilizing any tools, they need to be 10 to 15 minutes in barbicide. You gotta take that into account and this is a good reason to spread your appointments a little bit apart because if you have a favorite tool to use or if you only can afford to have or if you can only afford to have one pair of tweezers, you need enough time for them to sterilize properly. So that being said, when I'm done using tweezers, I bring them over here. This is where you put your barbicide mixture and you can sterilize things in here. I got this on Amazon. Everyone should have one. So this is purely for sterilization. I always put a towel down because the barbicide is blue and it stains this shelf and I wanna keep it nice. 
Moving on, this middle top shelf, and you can even tell from all the product that I have on here, is the facial products that I have. I'm not gonna go in depth to what I have, but this is everything that I use. And so I keep this all here. That is just toners, masks, and moisturizers. I keep all cleansers and exfoliants on the facial cart because it's what I'm using in the very beginning and this is all for the second half of the facial. So this is only half of the stuff that I have. Next row, this is my whole tinting kit. So a bowl, all my dyes, and the developer. This box, I just use it for lash perms, glue, primer, developer, conditioner, cleanser, lash pads. This is my tool to like glue the lashes up, tweezers if I need them. And then underneath is extra lash kits. I've got two extra. I always keep everything stocked. The lash kits that I have, they say that the products won't expire for six months, but once I open them, I want to use them within two weeks. And if it's been open for two weeks and it's not empty, I throw them away and I just open up a fresh one because the freshest ones give the best tints and I don't want to give someone like a mediocre tint. So I always have backups and this is just the cost of business. Would you rather spend an extra hour lifting someone's lashes again and opening up a new product or just knowing that you're using fresh product all the time? To me, that's really important. Like never have stuff that you think is gonna expire. Get fresh stuff, everyone deserves the best. So have extras. The middle middle, this is where I keep my cotton rounds, Q-tips, lash wands, obviously cotton balls, and these disposable lip gloss applicators. I use those applicators for tinting and for my lash lifts. It's the best little brush for like little products like dye or like perm. They're perfect. For one person, I will use one. I will clean them off between products and try to just use one per person. I know it's a little bit of waste, but to me, it, it gives the best application. Again, I want everyone to get the best quality services they can get. Second drawer, these are all my lashes. This palette is thicker lashes for classics. These are thinner lashes for volume. And then I have all my kind of refills here. Um, and then extra palettes if I need to make a custom palette. I also have a back stock of lashes, which I'll show you. I'm just trying to like stick to one area at a time. But these are like, I keep the most relevant lashes out here and those are in that drawer. So if, if I run out of nines, I have more nines right there. And at the end of the day, I always replenish, but I just try to keep the most relevant ones right in this drawer. So in an appointment, I don't have to go into the closet. That's like my strategy. And then finally is the bottom drawer. And these are all my lash pads, which I use for lash extensions and lash lifts and lash tints to cover, protect people's skin and lower lashes. These are more eyelash extension tools, primer and remover, tape, a palette for glue, stickers for glue, and a fan to dry eyelash extensions. So this is like definitely a tool drawer for eyelashes you can see like how detailed everything is and you need to make sure that you have everything stocked. Like you never know when you're gonna run out of something and if you're in the middle of an appointment when you run out of something, you're kind of screwed because people are coming in here and paying you money to have a nice service and they're expecting you to be organized. Like why would it be fair for me to come for my lash tint that I am paying for to find out that you don't have the applicator? I'd be pretty disappointed, especially if I made my appointment two weeks in advance. What I actually really would like to do is to make like a supply list and do like inventory, but I haven't gotten like that organized yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. Okay, next cube. These are all the refills for this drawer right here. So I have tons of cotton rounds. Q-tips, cotton balls, lash brushes, gauze pad, baby wipes, etc. Bottom row. These white towels, every towel is exactly the same size, all bleached, all white, and that's this towel right here. So when I wanna lay a towel flat, they're in this cube. When I'm doing facials, I also put one of these towels in my lap so that when I'm done putting a product on someone's face, I can wipe a bulk of the product off on the towel. So I'm not getting my apron really messy and I'm not getting it on my clothes. So I use a lot of these white towels and I'm always getting fresh new ones from Walmart. And I just want it to look nice and to look fresh. And sometimes if I get 
tint on them or eyelash glue on them or wax on them they're ruined but I always mark them and the ones that are ruined I those are the ones I use for my lap for the facials but if they're stained it doesn't matter they're still clean and I can wipe off product on them and people won't see it I keep the fresh ones for the table left side cube these are all the facial towels that I put for the towel warmer and then these are the headbands Right now I actually have a fresh load of laundry on my bed that has about half of my facial towels and like four headbands in there. So that cube is about half full right now. But usually it's like full to the top and I always roll them ahead of time because it's easier prep to have them already rolled and I can just add the water and essential oil and then throw them in. I'm not folding and rolling towels when I need to get ready for a facial. I try to set myself up for everything so that if I'm running out of time, I have things as easily prepared for as possible or I'm not wasting time digging through the closet or folding anything when I need it. And it's the same with the muslin. Like I always cut it ahead of time. I do my best. And like the night before, I like look at all the waxing that I have and I, I cut. The night before, I look at all the facials that I have and I get all the towels rolled and ready. So I've just gotten into a habit of keeping them rolled in that cube because it's what saves me the most time later on. This last cube in the middle are all of my products. So this is Barbicide. It's blue. I have another one coming in the mail right now. It's disinfectant. Disinfectant spray that I spray everything well after every appointment. Lots of alcohol, isoprol alcohol for waxing, witch hazel for wax removal, and then hydrogen peroxide. So I just have two kinds, whoever needs what. I showed you before with the muslin, I have lancets for ingrown hairs and if there is any blood, I like to put on hydrogen peroxide just to like disinfect the wound and to clean it so nothing festers and to keep everybody as like safe as possible. So those are all of my products in there. There's even some Febreze in there if it never smells in here, but I just keep it in there just because it seems like the right cube for it. Um, oh, behind me is, this is the mirror that I hand people when they're done with their service. I never really use these magnifying mirrors in the back, but when people are doing their service and then they're done with their facial, I'll kind of like show them their skin or when they're done with their lashes, I'll show them their lashes. There's this great big mirror here that they can see once they've sat up. It's really nice to show people their brows or their lashes like the minute their eyes open and it's always fun to keep people's like <sighs> reaction. I love that. So it's good to have a hand mirror and also really comes in handy for me when I'm doing my own waxes. Okay, last but not least, we have the closet. Here is the inner workings of my closet. I guess we will start with the facial cart. I tuck it into the closet when I'm not doing a facial because the room is a little bit small. Um, but obviously when I'm doing facials, I pull it right here next to the bed. So here's my facial cart. The top shelf has my steamer. This is the bowl for my hands. And in the beginning of the facial, I do the cleansers first. And I keep the sponges for the cleansers here before the water gets contaminated with my hands and other product. This is cleanser sponges. And they're, everything else gets a hot towel. But this is just for the beginning of the facial, pre-cleanse and cleanser. These are my lotions and oils for massage. A long time ago, I decided that I don't like magnifying light that big bulky thing i like to use and you've seen it in my videos a headlamp and then i use reading glasses as a magnifier it's compact it doesn't need any bulky things and if i want to go do a facial somewhere else it's so easy to just bring my headlamp and my glasses same thing for lashes second shelf is my high frequency machine the heads for the high frequency clean sponges and then this this is a pore vacuum with all the head extra lancets basically all of your extraction tools and then my bottom shelf is all of my cleansers and exfoliants I keep them on the bottom because products can leak and if you think about it you don't want it coming down into any of your machinery so I put them on the bottom and I line it with a towel I'm just gonna roll this back in keep it nice and tucked away and then I have this handy dandy shelf. Not all of it 
is really spall related. I used to have an office in here, so I have a drawer with like supplies and stuff, but I'll show you the relevant spa drawers. The bottom drawer has mason jars, more foundation samples, extra candles, hair mask, literally random miscellaneous things. The middle drawer is more like pens, pencils, thank you notes, tape measure, really not spa related, but office related, and sometimes you need these things. Top drawer is my mannequin head to practice for lashes, lash set, and then these are all my extra lashes. I told you I had a back stock, so there is, this is full of lashes. On top in here I have business cards, a menu of services that people can take home with them, and then actually back here I have gift certificates. So in an envelope with a gift certificate, I put the gift certificate, a menu of service, and a business card. The full kit anyone would need, so if you give someone a gift, you can see if it's for a dollar amount or a service, like you can see like what I offer, and then also my business card so you can contact me. And I'm kind of obsessed, I just got these done. I actually wanna make a sign that says gift certificates available and hang it, cause no one knows that I have these and it's like Christmas time, it's the perfect time for people to do that. And I've even done trades with people who don't like spa services, they know people that do. I did a trade and got Ben Groom and I gave the lady a $75 gift certificate to her friend who's pregnant and wanted a leg wax. And she was able to give her friend a leg wax for her birthday. And then here's my extra wax pot with the hard wax and the soft wax. And I just keep it over here if someone requests it, I will use it, but if not, I use my other wax. Up here are all my sheet sets. This is just like miscellaneous decor. This is more lash tools, tape, glue, cleansers. These are more gift certificates, menus, and envelopes, and then obviously paper towel. Here's my table paper. These are business cards, tripod, my DSLR camera, all my files more office supplies and this is like a stamping set that I have to make like really cool things. And then you can't forget, here in the closet are all my aprons. That's so cute, Waylet, Waylet got me that. Oh, I guess I could have turned the light on. There is a light in here. So that's my closet, all my storage. So that pretty much covers everything that I have in here. To me, I found that this is like the best setup for a full day. And then at the end of every day, I make sure that everything is restocked. Like I restock my cotton and I fill up the alcohol spray. I cut more muslin. And I just like, I do laundry and I fill my towels and I make sure everything is set up for the next full day. Because when it is back to back, it's really hard to like keep up during the day, which is why I have multiple sets of tweezers and multiple sets of sheets that can't do laundry between clients. Know what you can handle, know what you have supplies for, really important. Lastly, behind my curtain, I do have an AC unit. This is super necessary, especially for Kauai. There's humidity here if you're gonna do lashes. The AC will help dry out the room and keep it cool enough so that the glue can work properly. But also with steam and humidity, it gets really hot in here. So after facials, when I turn the steam off, I usually turn the air on and get some good airflow. And obviously, ceiling fan. That's it. I mean, it's a lot, it's not it, but. I think we're done. We did it all. Cool, right? Okay, I'm winding down for the night. I'm exhausted. My layout's not home yet. But I need to do my skincare, so I'm washing my face. Feeling a little bit tipsy from my glass of wine. I need to lie down. <laughs> I just looked at the Facebook group, there's already 100 people. Can't believe how many of us are gonna do this cleanse together. So exciting. Thank you guys so much for like participating and like doing this with me. It's so fun. I think my favorite part was like getting a notebook and writing in it. So if you have like a Ross near you, go spend $3 and like get a cute notebook. You can use it for writing down all of like your symptoms, the parameters, your grocery lists, and then use it as a food diary. I did my food diary every single day. I tracked my weight every single day. I'm about six weeks in and I'm still using it. It became like my best friend and it was just like such a cool tool to have. And even when I look at it, like just to the six weeks ago, I'm like so proud of myself. Cause like you write down and you can like see how you're feeling and stuff. And you're like, damn, I was really struggling. You're like, oh my gosh, that day was so hard. I remember it's like a really cool tool. Again, again, really powerful. Tomorrow I'm going to Kukui Grove with Bryn, babysitter, me, Ellie, and Bryn. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping, 
Christmas shopping, birthday shopping for Kayla. Have some fun. While I work is again at the sushi restaurant, so we won't be seeing a lot of him. He's going surfing in the morning, which means I'll probably have to get him up. And actually, this is day 17. When you're seeing this, tomorrow's my birthday. Friday, December 18th is my birthday. I'm turning 31. I have a couple appointments. I have two facials in the morning. And then Bryn is coming to babysit again. And then Wiley and I are gonna go get tattoos. And then we're going out to dinner. It's gonna be a really fun day. And then the weekend is gonna be so busy. Saturday we're picking up the leaf and we gotta go get the meat from Costco. We gotta prep everything. We gotta prep the leaf, pick and distem the tea leaf, cut the meat, go on a hike if we can. And then Sunday, make all the lao lao and start cooking it all over again. Monday and Tuesday, I have full days nine to five and then monday night i'm going out with all my girls for drinks for my birthday south shore we're going to a place called the tasting room and i'm so excited i haven't been there yet it's gonna be so fun there's so many things coming it's gonna be so so busy so wish me luck i can only imagine how much laundry i'm going to be doing but thanks for being here and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>